Well guys, whenever you're about to go and buy a storage locker, always make sure you have your basic needs, which basically is make sure you got the money to buy it. Alright guys, uh, so we're here in Woodbridge, New Jersey, picking up two lockers that I bought at storageauctions.com. Locker C1667 and C1665. And it's so convenient that they're actually located next to each other. Since this is going to be the main course, it's bigger. This one is actually the small one. That was for 60 bucks. The lock was broken, as you can see. They you know, they had to come in and fix the lock or break it open. This is the, the unit itself. Exactly what was in the picture. You know, a little perfume so I could smell nice. Got some books here. So let's go. Looks like just personal paperwork. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through it. 2017 high school. Yeah, high school book here. Or 2007. Oh, damn. 2017. The guy would have been only three years old. A girl. Oh, got some books here. You know, small little appetizer. What your birthday reveals about you. you guys want to know I'm a Libra. Jesus papers. We all need a little Jesus in our lives, maybe. You know? Just the everyday God to what prophecy? How to marry a fabulous man, which I am. Thank you very much. Whoever got me, Maggie, you're the lucky one. Uh, maybe I'll read some of these books. Interesting taste. What's this? Beyond Death. Ooh, oh, there's a personal address there. Let's see what's in it. Just paperwork. Got uh, sandpaper. Uh, that's paper right there. Got a little, looks like a sticker packet. More books and books, 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 and more books. Okay, little HP DeskJet printer. Let's this over here. Look at that. It's finger skateboards. Nothing really in there. That's some. Is that money? Nah, it's that money. It just looks like a piece of a necklace. Ooh. Don't spill it, don't spill it, Rob. Let's see if this is a, uh, just, just a picture. As well, as well as this one. This one's kind of like taped up. Probably as well pictures. Uh, let's move this out of the way. Uh, my winter clothes. It doesn't feel like clothes. Uh, just random things. Nothing too exciting. Of course, DVDs. Cheaper camera. More DVDs. More books. And more useless paperwork. Ooh. Cavalier. I used to drive one of those. Nothing much. Nothing too fabulous. Books, docs, and toys. Some kind of controller. Got phones. More books. I need to try to keep yourself educated. Reading books is always good for you. It's all books. Books, books, books. More books. 
doesn't look, I don't want to open that up, but it looks like there's chargers. More books under there. So that's it for this locker. Nothing but books, $60 worth. Maybe we have one book that's worth a hundred. You never know. This is not gonna go for much. It's just a HP old printer. All right, let's go to the, the main course. So here it is. Let's see if you're gonna treat me well. The reason why it was so much is because people bought it for the bag, which is Invicta. So hopefully we'll find one. It's a bag back there, I didn't even notice. Right there, it's a bag. So hopefully this locker is gonna be something good. All right, so we got, yep, first note. Got DVDs, more DVDs. Ooh, what's this one here? I don't know. What do we got here? What do you guys think? Jewelry box. I don't know. Uh, looks like a wind-up jewelry box. Uh, is it working? Oh, look. Here I am. Look how pretty I am. Hey, guys. Not much. Just a picture of a cat. A pen. Ah, uh, feels kind of empty. Nada. Zip zilch. Got nothing except this good looking guy back there. Alright. More DVDs. Huh. Let's see what's in here. Something was kind of making noise in here. Ah, oh yeah. You know what was making noise? Emptiness. <laughs> the void of an empty. A little side purse. Alright, so we got the flag. Man, I'm telling you, I must have about a thousand DVDs. Yep. What's this over here? Of course, it would have been the tablet. I mean, that's a keyboard. Well, that didn't happen. More personal paperwork. More personal paperwork. CDs. And a little, I don't know what that is. It was like a glass. Happy birthday to me. Got some cassettes. Doesn't look like rap cassettes, huh? Not gonna be making any ton of money for me. Pictures. More picture frames. Oh. Uh, I forgot what's this. A st stethoscope? Boom. You know, I can hear your heartbeat. My daughter always was curious with this thing. I might clean this up, desanitize it. And have it at home, you know, listen to each other's heartbeats. She'll have fun with that. More stuff. Ooh. What is it? It's an iPhone. Be, be very mindful of the iPhones and your cell phone and all the information you put on your cell phone and how you recover your passwords because identity theft is no joke, which recently happened to me. Uh, I'm not going to get into the whole story, but research cell phone SIM hijacking. And basically, you'll, you'll, you'll get the 411 what happened to me. Not fun. Still going through it. So that's box number one. It's back in that box. Let's go to the next one. This is uh, actually kind of cool. To help me move my stuff. Bam. All right, what do we got here? Looks like a sweater. Some contract for the storage. Company. What do we got in here? 
got some scissors. Is it silver? Mm. Nope, stainless steel. This one? Nope, Japan, I don't know. 18.8. I don't know what that could be. It looks like just clothes. Nothing too marvelous here. Ugh. Dirty. <laughs> the socks. Amityville Horror. Me and my wife just watched this too. <laughs> Alright, so let's. Now it's all back in the bag. Yay! Snap scenes. Let's put this down here. Alright, this is what everybody was looking at. And Victor bag and bidding on it. All bidding me. Uh, what is this? What's that? Euro. No? Is it Europa? 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 Nothing too interesting. Just looks like clothes. Looks like an award there. Personal. So, number three. Or actually, item number three. Ah, nice little bag. What's the brand? Dress Bam, that's what it looks like, Dress Bam. Empty. What's this one? Ooh. What could this be? What is this? Something's in it. Maybe a watch? How do you open this thing? It looks like it's broken. This is what was inside. You know, it was taped up here, glued, super glued. It's just a foldable, like, watch or clock. Hmm. Got that amazing. Nice little, you know, Easter bunny. All right. A tote within a tote. To. I went to actually a um, dollar store to buy Christmas bags and toys for Christmas gifts. And I could have just waited to get pick this up. It's just personal paperwork. I'm not gonna go over it. Books, pictures. Ten dollar. London 1980 something colors. So it could be dishes. Let's see if it is dishes. Yeah, it is. It's on the side. Oh, look at that. PSP game. I didn't even notice that. I wonder if it's inside. Yep. Hopefully we can find a PSP in here then. There's a game. Looks like more personal pictures. We'll give all of this back in a few days once I sort through the stuff. Purses. Let's, let's pick this one out. Is there anything inside? Tom's. Inside, huh? Hmm. Purse within a purse. Is there money? There's cards in here. Of course, we'll give them back as well. No physical money, just old, like, basically, like, rewards cards, business cards. You know, if there's any gift cards in there, of course, we're going to check it out. But that's 
pretty much it. Oh, we're gonna have VHS tapes. Nice, more VHS tapes. Oh, oh, we struck some money. We got 20 cents back. All right. Like, facility. There's a treasure island. Maybe this will become my treasure island. Oh, look at this. Look at this little purse. My wife is gonna love this purse. What's in here? Nothing. Yeah, the owners didn't feed you any money? Come on. What is that? Fuzzy? Fuzzy what? No, yeah, Fuzzy Nation. Man, I gotta get my glasses in order. <laughs> What's this over here? Somebody really loved cats. It's a little frame in there. I'm not gonna open it up. Just like little cool cat's frame. Yeah. Another umbrella for my collection. Looks like wedding photos. Could be returned back, of course. What's this little treasure trove? Looks like cat toys. Yeah, cat toys. This lady had a cat. You know? DVDs. What's this over here? Uh, more, more photos, more photos, more photos. Oh, nice little ooh, coach. My wife would love this bag. Oh my god, hopefully it's real. My wife would love this bag. She's a big time, big time lover of flowers. And look at that coach with flowers. Authentic. I don't know. I gotta look at stitching and stuff but we'll see got more pictures personal stuff personal personal more personal a lot of personal so iphone charger in there another purse i'm not gonna get it out just to keep it nice and clean personal cds Yes, Book bags. Probably all paperwork. Or photos. Yep. There's a cable in here. Looks like a PlayStation end cable. Oh, so maybe we'll find a PlayStation. Yeah, be hopeful. Yep, I like that sound. It sounds like plastic. And look at that. Is it? No, it's just, oh, I swear this kind of looked like the edge of the PlayStation 2. Oh, what's this? I'm having trouble with the zipper. Some personal pictures. Yeah, it's all personal stuff. Little picture frames. More picture frames. Paperwork. Paperwork. Put pictures, picture frames in here. A lot of pictures. Okay. Books. More books. Looks like CDs. I'll have to go. As you can see right there. It's just CDs. Just toy books. Oh, man, this is heavy. I'm going to break whatever's inside. in here for me to you okay what do you got for me thank you very much <laughs> uh, what is this that's a snow globe oh 1989 too bad i wasn't born in that year i'm a go for it oh what's in here Maggie helped me around. Hmm. What is this? Beauty and the Beast. Oh, it's like a little Walt Disney souvenir trinket. 
I wonder if it's silver. I don't know. Where's the clasp? It doesn't feel like silver. It's just, it says Disney on it. For a second, got me going. You know? For a second, it got me going. Mm -hmm. Get my blood pumping. What's in here? Oh, it's Santa Claus. Of course, personal picture. More personal pictures. Look like ornaments for the Christmas tree. I don't want to show the pictures, but you know, there's pictures in here. In here, in the ornaments. What's this one? Here? Sister, sister makes a family whole by adding charm and grace. Wherever you may go in life, no one can take your place. It's very nice. Oh, it's a jewelry box. Huh. No jewelry in there. So the secrets. Another picture. Paper falling down. Just a little. I actually like this. Let's take a picture out there. Right here. I like this little container. Look at that. Looks like it's made from bamboo. Like this one, I guess. Oh, it's a little warped. What does it say? Oh, Jamaica. Hmm. Put that in there. Let's put the little ornament again. Just oh look at that! My dog is gonna have a Santa outfit. <laughs> That's it. Nothing's in the box. Oh, this is gift cards. No, nothing in there. Sister, no gift cards. All right, let's clean this up. There you go. There's another box in here. Kind of heavy. Nothing else in there. I don't think. Oh, something's rattling. Of course, found my photos, a bunch of them. Oh. Just like some kind of little things. Looks like my light is running out of a battery. What's that? Hmm. It says Disney on it. It's a 925. It doesn't look like it. Just Seashells. I think this might, might be silver. No markings on it ish. Uh, looks like 925. Little trinkets here and there. Studs. <laughs> Got this right here. Don't know what that is. Wife is just checking to see if I'm okay. This is very nice of her. Let's put all this stuff back. Quickly. Uh, What's this over here? Hope. Somewhere in there. Hair pins. Of course. Looks like something in Spanish. Maybe the Bible. Looks like a again a jewelry thing, but no jewelry. like just costume jewelry down here. A few watches, costume jewelry. Pins. Costume jewelry, some keys, a purse. Let me get to the other side. Let's see if there's something there. 
Actually, I think this tote opens up two ways. <laughs> All pennies, though. <laughs> and, you know, gift card for you. Oh, look at that. Oh, nobody steal that. Well, we'll call and see how much there is on there. Hopefully there's some money on there. Oh, look at this. Did we hit the jackpot? We're going to open this up at the back of the video. All right, nothing in this one. I don't know what this could be. It's heavy. And it's round. Has some kind of mold on it. Who knows what? Huh? Bed sheets. Huh. Take it down. Looks like more photos, some purses in here. But a lot of them photos. Yeah, it looks like women's wear. Alright. Uh, more of that at the back of the video, I guess. And then last oh, damn. Pika, Pika. Pikachu. Just random stuff. VHS. Looks like pictures. Cards, more pictures, more pictures. And I was hoping for a PSP in here. What's this? Uh, another snow snow balloon. Fanny pack. Pictures and more pictures. And... Oh, okay, I got it. Hmm. Looks like it's just cards. Well, that's it, folks. That's everything. So, the rest of the stuff is going to be on the back of the video. So, let's get this stuff uh, cleaned up, put in the van, uh, say goodbye to my wife before she goes to work and see if we find anything else. Like I said, this little thing, we're gonna go over at the back of the video. Hopefully there's something nice. There's a jewelry box right there. See you in a few. Look at this cute little guy. Hey, what's up guys? All right, this is the end of the video. Quick snap of what I got in the locker. As you could see, this wasn't much. The locker was only $140. A lot of stuff were, you know, personal photos, a lot of personal paperwork, a whole tub full. I mean, from the bottom of the tub all the way up to the point where it's so heavy, it's not even funny. Call the facility and let them know what especially I'm bringing back. And they were kind enough to say, go ahead and come come in and bring them. Some, some facilities don't like that. They're kind of like, oh, it's yours. You do with it, you know, whatever you want. And um, they, they don't want to deal with it, but at least I'm going to be able to get rid of it because it's taking up a lot of space in my van. But starting off with the left, this is all the change that was accumulated from the locker. A dollar maybe. Then we have this purse. Right here's the brand. Charming Charlie. I didn't notice that stain down there, but I thought it was new because of this, you know, quick wrap on the... Um, the pull zipper itself but oh well we can still make some money this is a nine and company right here nine and company looks like a ipad bag or sleeve carrier whichever way you want to say it. then we have fuzzy nation this goes for some money which is really nice i'm going to brush it up and put it online then you have beauty and the beast charms this is just kind of like miscellaneous. It's not even silver or anything. It's 
probably what they kept these charms on so they don't lose them. That's, you know, not a lot of money. I didn't even look at comps. I don't think I'd be able to even get $10 for this, but we'll see. Then we have this nice frame. You know, Disney. Actually, authentic Disney. I try to look it up by this part number in the back, but... You know, it most likely was bought at Disney itself because there was a lot of Disney uh, photographs in the in the locker itself. So they probably went to Disney and bought it. So usually if it's third party, you can look it up and uh, be able to sell it. But, you know, I couldn't find it. But I found an eBay uh, sale really quickly. And the only one that listed one just like this was 10 bucks. Then she was an advent collector movies itself as you can see it's all horror movies i split them up um if i had the whole series legacy collection series of this there's two more missing it would have been a little bit more money but i'm gonna bundle them up they do sell as well if you bundle you know like 25 of each category and you could get probably 50 bucks for it coach bag can't certify if it's 100% uh, authentic because of, depending on the year some of the bags came and some bags didn't come with the authentication tag that's inside that's pure leather and gives you the number and the serial number this one doesn't it has a small little um, tag that is uh, sewn into the side which I looked online they do have series that came out just like that but um, I can't really authenticate I tried looking at Stitching, stitching was pretty nice, but Miko was always always uh, fake that kind of stuff. This is coach right here, and the graphic itself. I was looking at all the graphics that they have on their coach bags. They're a little bit better quality than this, so I don't. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Remember, you know, it depends on the year. So this could have been a later year, maybe not as good quality, but well, I'll do some further research. Then I had these two. This is a game which is inside I found in the bag separately and then this was actually a video uh, I was saying it was a game but it's a video for the PSP then we have some random action movies Scarface look at that you know I believe I have another copy of it and I'm gonna make bundles of this stuff this is like a ten dollar ten dollar hallmark ornament you know recently they've been selling because of Christmas hopefully I could list this and get it sold before the holiday is over then you have the Disney CD tracks, which basically are all the songs from Disney itself. Um, they go for about $10 a piece. If I had volume one, I could have got a little bit more money, but she didn't have it. Maybe it was just lost. Uh, a couple box sets, DVDs. Then we have some VHS. Like I said, I'll bundle them up depending on uh, the movies, the categories. Uh, Space Jam, another Disney. I have a bunch of Disney VHS tapes then we have this west clocks german made there's some that are made in J uh, japan this is actually a german made one it works you can listen i've had it working since last night uh, the top of it was messed up because i guess over the course of time the glue gave way and it was pulled apart i had to clean it up and then re-glue it but the condition, as you can see, it's normal wear. This isn't like high quality brass on the sides, but it is really nice itself. As you can see, Germany. The back is really nice. The interior is nice. You know, it still has the original paperwork, so I could probably get a few bucks out of it. Then we have the silver bracelet. My wife wanted to take it right away, but we'll see. We'll see uh, if if she's going to get it or not. 925, right there. Then we have 1952 dime. So it's silver. Then we have the Elvis collection over here. So... You know, each disc itself sells about five to ten dollars. I'm gonna just do a bundle and sell them for twenty uh nineteen ninety nine. Controller as well, they sell for like about ten bucks. Then you have random costume jewelry. This I was gonna keep and play, but 
I'm gonna actually sell it as a pristine or a prestige medical group, which manufactures these equipments for you know medical purposes. They sell as a set for fifty bucks used, so it has everything that it's that it comes with, like extra attachments to this. That's a flea market item. Other than that, that's everything that I collected, which is not much for a hundred forty dollar locker. Not all lockers will be winners. Sometimes you'll have a few that you'll barely scrounge up the money that you've paid for the locker, but everything that you get back and you make back your money is not a total loss. We have a, a, a video, right? You guys were able to go on an adventure with me again through a storage locker. We had two for one. Um, the other locker items are here. It's mostly books. We'll go over that with the other video. Some random connectors, which were weird. This is from an old locker. It was still in my van. But, you know, it's like 1900s rifle. It's missing the guts, you know, to make it operational. But, you know, nice little thing to hang up on the wall. You know, I might buy these pieces to make a whole restore a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. And that's pretty much it. On to the next locker, guys. See you later. Bye.